Well, guess what, guys? We're going to check out the other side of the auto show. Hopefully, you like the part one and uh, see what uh, was on display. There's other manufacturers here, a little bit different cars. This part is uh, just a bit shorter, but it does have some pretty cool surprises. So let's go. Again, this is held at McCormick Place here in Chicago. Um, and it's been uh, the place of the auto show for many, many years, as many as I can remember. Now, uh, they say it's about 113 years that the auto show has been on. Um, well, let's see, the Chevy is the first display over here. And uh, the first vehicle we can see is this uh, first ever all electric Chevy Blazer, which I had to tell you, it looks super sharp. Now, this is not a production vehicle. I'm not sure when it's going to be in production, but it's a very good looking vehicle. Of course, it is a crossover. Um, this is the SS trim, which is the Super Sport, right? Blazer all wheel drive. I'm going to check out the interior of it really quick. Lots of displays, lots of LEDs, bright, nice. The colors are nice too. Now it's funny because it's standing still, but the miles per hour, you know, looks like we're driving. I mean, this is a simulation of a drive, uh, but the interior is very red. And of course, this is the electric vehicle section or the electrified vehicle section. So you also have this first ever all electric Silverado. And this particular one is the RST, which looks amazing. I'm gonna go in the back of this vehicle first because there's something that you probably haven't seen on many of those other vehicles. So let's check this out. The gate is open. It does have this multi-step gate, so it's easier for you to climb on, but uh, look how the back opens up. It's completely open. So uh, if you have something longer, or I don't even know what the other uh, usage of it would be, but this is pretty cool. And then, of course, inside, lots of screens again love the interior of it it's kind of a combination of white red and black a lot of display and uh, let's move back now here is uh, the america supercar of course the uh, all new c8 corvette now this is a z06 this is the most powerful corvette uh, without an electrification that's built. Love the color of it. If you check this out, it does have the wider body. Huge air intakes on both sides. It does have this splitter. And, uh, you know, I do like this lime green color of it. Z06 on the side. Of course, you have the carbon wheels, ceramic brakes, made by Brambo with collaboration with Corvette. And uh, here's the back of it. Now, uh, this quad exhaust in the back is reserved for the Z06, for the C8 Corvette. You do have this rather large spoiler. And again, this is a coupe, this is a Targa. So we can take a peek inside. And let me know if you like this. It looks awesome. It's a lot of carbon, a lot of leather, combination black and yellow, of course. And here we have the 70th uh, anniversary. This is, uh, Corvette was first manufactured in 2000, uh, no, in 1957. So it's been 70 years of manufacturing. So they came up with this uh, commemorative edition, you know, for the 70th anniversary. And right over here, you have this brand new Corvette E-Ray, which is a hybrid. It's an electrified Corvette, super fast. This vehicle goes zero to 60 in about 2.5 seconds. I actually love the color of it. I'm not sure what they call it. Again, this is not a fully electric vehicle, which is awesome. It does have a little bit of a different back end um, as far as the trims. Down at the bottom, you can see a lot of more aerodynamic trims and over here you can see it is a convertible that's why you can't see the motor through the back glass and uh, but 
You can see the interior. The front looks like a regular Corvette. Man, I tell you, the design of it is incredible. Here's the front, low to the ground, sporty. It's still, you know, to a point, it's still an affordable vehicle. Now, the Z06 is about $160,000, and it's about as expensive as it gets, and that's if you can get one at that price. Now, so here's the Z06. That's the LT6. This is the uh, engine. Now you can see how it looks inside and outside. Here's some specs on it. So you get 670 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. Okay, you got the compression ratio of 12.5 to 1. And the bore and stroke right at the bottom. And uh, what do we have here is uh, the 6.2. V8. This is the LT2. This is the regular Corvette engine right now. 495 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque. So you can see the uh, motors are different. You know, the uh, Z06 versus the uh, regular Corvette. Now, let's move on. Go through the Chevy display and uh, we have some standard vehicles that you can actually find at the dealerships right now and right next to chevy we have hyundai and uh, at hyundai a couple of interesting things uh, we're going to start with the uh, uh, some of the electric vehicles so you do have the ionic 5 and ionic 6 with hyundai and uh, here's the ionic 6 which is a, a different looking vehicle for sure it's all electric um, it looks kind of like a, a coupe, but, uh, you know, sport coupe. Kind of like Mercedes CLS uh, used to look like. Front end, very different. Of course, there's no grill because um, it is all electric, but you do have this fully LED lights. The door handles, something that's uh, Hyundai introduced for the uh, Ionic 5. We still have the same kind of concept. This is a pre-production model, and uh, what we have is a dual screen right here. Um, you do have this floating design, and uh, um, you have uh, nice seats in here. And check this out. This is the back of it. I'm not sure if I like it or I don't. I mean, it's kind of, you know, from the back. If you if you look at this this angle right here. Kind of looks like a Porsche Carrera. I'm not sure if Porsche people would be happy to see that again. This has got this all LED light strip and this Ionic 5 is basically inside embossed in here. So um, I think it's nicer looking than the Ionic 5 that I'm going to show you next, but still on the strange side. And this is the Ionic 5. This is the Ionic 5, which has been around for about a year now. Now, I haven't done it on the channel, but you can see it does have this different design. It's basically a very similar vehicle to what you see as a Kia EV6. This is a crossover, uh, so you have uh, definitely more square shape, more creases. Uh, kind of looks like a Lego car. does have a lot of sharp edges. Not my favorite design, but uh, to each its own. <laughs> and the uh, Ionic 5 in the back, and then again, you have this pixelized uh, LED lights. And then again, this is where the first uh, door handles like this were introduced. So here it is. And uh, this is the interior of it. Of course, uh, a lot of roaring coming out from uh, Hyundai display, if something going on as far as the new vehicles, maybe that's coming out, maybe prototypes, I'm not sure what it is. It looks pretty sharp, by the way. And here we go, our usual suspects. You have the uh, Santa Fe's, Elantra's. There's the Elantra N and the Elantra and the uh, Rally Edition. So, 
this one I've seen again this is uh, I believe the same vehicle that I've seen at Miami Auto Show looks uh, very impressive again it's one of the concept cars that you'll never see on the street but uh, that's what can be done with it and this is actually racing in some kind of a division good looking and right here you have the Kona N which is I think my one of my favorite SUVs 276 horsepower or so you know but mid 30s that's about the uh, what you pay for it I think 35 or 36 and Santa Cruz but I did tell you that there's a few vehicles right there that are uh, very cool and here's what we have this is one of them right in the background I hope that you can see this is the brand new Lamborghini Countach it's about 2.6 million dollar car and I'm not even sure you know with this spec you know what it is but check this out this is uh, such an iconic car to begin with uh, I believe it was the 80s or 90s when they made the original one this one kind of kept with the similar tradition of the um, overall shape of it I'm gonna get closer to it see if I can get in there and give you a little bit more of a closer look to it thank you here it is check this out in the back look at this the size of these tires is absolutely incredible look how wide they are and of course you have this quad exhaust in the back it's built-in spoiler that retracts at the certain speeds and right up and see the uh, engine and again if you have 2.6 million dollars you might be able to get it a lot of carbon fiber you know the brakes carbon brakes carbon ceramic brakes you get the uh, uh, air inlets all over make sure that this vehicle is cooled properly this is the front end you know of course everything is modernized as it should be right we're in 2023 and a Lamborghini logo and you have the Countach right underneath a lot of carbon fiber and uh, I love the design of this one of course this is in the sphere of you know, like the super super cars lots more expensive than the regular even the Lagro Lamborghinis right here you have the uh, uh, Aventador and uh, this one actually is in the limited edition vehicle as well it's a very nice looking one this is number one out of 250 that are made so it's a certain spec color wheel combination so you have uh, again large in inserts as far as the uh, air intakes beautiful Italian flag on it just the aesthetic of this vehicle it's so nice and well this is a lot less expensive than the uh, Countach of course but still you know I, I, I don't want to guess but I'm thinking half a million or more you know on this one huge exhaust again looks very aggressive this is probably like one of the more exotic looking vehicles that you can find and the Aventador they've been actually made for quite a few years right now so it's very low to the ground so now we looked at the uh, Corvette which you know at the highest end is about hundred and sixty thousand dollars and these are super cars again you have the Lamborghini Urus and uh, here's a pretty cool one here's your uh, Rolls-Royce with the tailgate package I guess <laughs> if you want to tailgate and style you can certainly get one of those and you know make sure that you're comfortable sitting on the tailgate and have a little table for your champagne this is the Cullinan of course and uh, there's guys filming it so um, but here's the doors obviously they open up second the other Royces hey have your Bentleys now this is the 12 cylinder right this is the sport the continental 
sport. Now I've done the uh, convertible, so if you like watching uh, vehicles like this, I actually have done the uh, Bentley Continental GT convertible. There's a hybrid on the Bentleys. Let's check this out because I can see something peeking through. That's another one. It's another cool car. Now this is the uh, Maserati, uh, the new um, thing they call the MC20, I believe. Yep, this is the MC20, and uh, that looks very nice as well. Check this out again. There's people filming it. We're at the uh, media preview, so uh, a lot of stuff going on. But uh, here's another cool vehicle that you can find at the auto show. Of course, you, you have the uh, Austin Martin, and this is the DBX 007. So this is the James Bond edition. As you know, this is the preferred vehicle of choice for James Bond. So um, this is the special edition that they made for it. It's all blacked out, gray and black, red interior. Looks very nice. And uh, right here, this is the new McLaren Artura. Again, uh, this is a super car that is kind of in between, uh, as far as the pricing, in between like the uh, Corvette at the top of the line, 160. This one starts at about 230. Uh, it's a beautiful looking vehicle, 3.0 liter, 3.0 liter turbocharged engine. You know, here it is. And this particular one's got an MSRP of about 280. It's zero to 60 in about three seconds, top speed 205 miles per hour. And it looks very nice. It's a lot tamer than the Lambos, but it definitely does have the supercar look. And then right in front of it, there is the uh, McLaren GT, which you know technically is the entry level for the McLaren lineup. And this MSRP starts just over 200,000, and this one is 219. So 3.1 seconds, just 0.1 seconds slower than the Artura. And check this out. Design is amazing. Let's see if we can peek in the interior. Right over. That's it. You know, there's something going on at Volkswagen that I wanted to show you. I wanted to see it too because they are unveiling the new Volkswagen Atlas. Thank you, sir. And then let's go check this out. Uh, the Atlas is, of course, the largest SUV in the Volkswagen lineup. In the 2024, it's being redesigned. It was actually unveiled at the private event yesterday, and they're gonna do a walk around of it very soon. But you can see, you can check it out the different front end. The shapes of it remains the same. And uh, here's the back of it. Come back. Yeah, come back to the Volkswagen when they actually do a walk around. So they're testing the sound right now, which is really loud. GMC display. Of course, you do have the uh, electric Hummer EV. Um, again, I've tested one of those vehicles on my channel. So if you want to see more, you can uh, definitely check out one of my reviews on that. Uh, actually very impressed with it and uh, the SUV is coming as well I don't see it here so I'm not sure if that's available to see this is the next uh, uh, model that's going to be coming out of the uh, GMC so Hummer right now it is under GMC umbrella it always was but it was also its own brand right now it's called the GMC Hummer and uh, it's pretty, pretty impressive, actually. 
So this is the pickup truck. And then uh, if you want to buy a boat, this one is at about $350,000 for this one. But you'll need a big truck to pull it with. So now I have your GMC Sierra, the AT4. Oh, is this the uh, 1500 series? Nope. This is the 2500 series, I believe. This is the HD, so yeah. Um, these are trucks. And then here's some cool muscle cars at the other show again. You know, I, I don't know much about any of the classic cars, so I'm going to be reading off of it. Um, I'm not going to try to tell you that I know something I don't. 1937 Ford Freighter. Here's the uh, Chrysler Imperial Dodge something. Oh, this is nice. This is Dodge Dart. Love the color. Oof. That's sweet. There's an old uh, purple Rolls Royce. And there's uh, so typical to that era Cadillac convertible. This is the Eldorado with the big wings in the back. And you have the Jeep Willys. And the Chrysler van. As well as the Austin Bentham panel truck. This is a tiny one. I'm not sure if that's real. Uh, there you go. Chevrolet, actually Corvair. So I was wrong. I thought it was a Chrysler, but this is a Chevrolet. Again, I told you, I don't know much about the uh, vehicles like this. Again, last year of Stinger. This is it. This is uh, 2023 Kia Stinger. And after 2023, it's going to be gone. No longer on the Stinger. Um, here's a Kia Forte GT. Done that. Done both of them on as far as the reviews and the EV6s. So here's the uh, EV6 wind, which is one of the base trims. And uh, here's the EV6 uh, GT. Now this is a performance EV6 for, you know, right around $60,000. This is probably the fastest car that you can get. This is all electric. Yep, GT, all wheel drive. You know, it has, let's see, 64,245 this MSRP and uh, what you're getting here is 85 in the city, 74 in the highway. That's a comparison. So that's an equivalent of 79 miles per gallon. Of course, it is uh, all electric, so there's no gas going in here. But check this out. Uh, it does have this matte gray finish. I'm actually waiting for one to show up at my local dealership and look at the interior of it. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I love the seats. Let's open it up. The seats are contoured, definitely sport seats, sport steering wheel, dashboard, ambient lighting. This is a great looking vehicle and I've driven the launch edition. I haven't driven the one with this most powerful engine but I can't wait to actually get one hopefully fairly soon and bring it to you as a full review. We'll see what else Kia has for us in store. Here's your Sorrentos. So generally basically cars that you can find at the dealership we're not going to spend too much time on them just because you can simply go to your local dealership and check it out or you can watch one of my videos and check them out as well now this is the uh, carnival let's see if it does have this executive seating package actually it does not but nevertheless pretty cool it does have the rear entertainment system but here's a vehicle that uh I wanted to show you and I've done one already it's the uh, new RX now I haven't done the RX 500 or the 450 hybrid and let's see if they have any of those in stock here an interesting color kind of a copper 
color on this uh, RX and uh, RX350 all wheel drive. So I've done one of those. Actually, uh, I think I would like to see the 450, a little bit more powerful engine. This is a 450 RZ. Oh, this is the RZ. Okay, so I haven't gotten that one yet. Uh, this is a brand new electric vehicle. And uh, look at this, because this is very different than what you'll find in uh, any vehicles. Now, a lot of manufacturers are trying to be different. And uh, this one certainly manages to do that by having uh, this type of a steering wheel, large screens, again, very unique design. And let's check out the specs, direct four all wheel drive, 313 horsepower, five seconds, zero to 60. So definitely quick, but not the fastest thing out there. And this is how it looks from the front. And the last but not least, what we have is the Acura and Honda display. So you can see the MDX Type S and the last year of the NSX. Now this is the NSX Type S. So $190,000. We have 3.5 liter dual over it, cam twin turbo, uh, 21 miles per gallon. I mean, who cares if you're spending this much money do you really care whether you get 21 or 25 miles per gallon? This thing, it looks amazing. It looks like a supercar. It is a supercar. It's made by a company that's known for their reliability. It doesn't put out anything on the market unless they're sure that it's going to be good, right? That it's going to be solid. Again, the air intakes in the back, type pass. And then going around here, you can see the back. And of course, let's see if we can take a peek at what powers up this thing. Now this is the final year, so they're only gonna make 350 of them, 169. This is the model that you have at the auto show in this matte gray color. And uh, I would definitely, I would love to test drive one of them. I haven't done one yet, just because it's not as easily to get one in this package now. The SH all-wheel drive TLX Type S. Done that one. Um, very nice looking one. Actually, I do like the color and the interior of it. And uh, right here, this vehicle I'm waiting for to get to my local dealership. What we have so far is, this is the brand new Honda Accord. I'm gonna come back to it in just a little bit once they finish filming it. So some of those vehicles that you can see in this video, I'm gonna do some short videos so I can give you a little bit more in-depth uh, look of them. I hope you like it. And then we have some pilots over there I've done on uh, the trail sport in a uh, different trim, but this is one of them. And of course you have a Honda Jet. This is very unique. I think you can actually uh, see of what's inside of one on the Jet Elite. And check this out. See how it looks. All yeah, right. So if you want to travel in style, you know, come out out of your Civic or maybe no. Come out out of your NSX and get into one of these. Definitely a pretty cool concept to have a jet at the auto show. Haven't seen one yet, but they're impressive. Well, one last thing and we're going to conclude this walk through the auto show um, and this is a Honda Ridgeline <laughs> concept. Well, it's not even a concept. It's something that's been made for some Baja racing. 
definitely not something that you'll see at uh, dealer lots anytime soon or ever, but uh, you know, this is just a show of what Honda is capable of as far as uh, you know, being involved in the different aspects of, of racing. So, well, this is it. This is the Auto Show 2023 in Chicago. If you guys are here, and I don't know when you're watching this video, but the show is going to go on from today, which is the 10th, uh, all the way through next week. So if you're in Chicago, when I attend it, uh, this is what you'll see. And you can actually sit in most of those vehicles, check them out, uh, even test drive some of them, which is, by the way, this is another test track for Hyundai. And I hope you like that. If you like it, if you like watching videos about vehicles, cars, check out the rest of my channel. Consider subscribing. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.